we have seen, seen in our bio geochemical cycle state ocean is a major sink of the carbon dioxide that means it is a storehouse of carbon and carbon is dissolved in the ocean water also carbon is there in the carbonate ions carbonate ions forms the major component of the shells in the marine organisms shelled organisms so in two ways the carbon act as uh, ocean act as a carbon sink and the sink is so huge is such that almost 40 percentage of the total greenhouse gas emissions made by human human made greenhouse gas emission 40 percentage of it is absorbed by the ocean water so the effect we are seeing in the atmosphere is only 60 percentage of the emissions remaining 40 percentage already dissolved in ocean it means that ocean is acting as a buffer to dissolve the excess carbon dioxide and what is happening now is that ocean is almost reaching its limit of its buffering capacity if a solution is buffer we know that it can maintain its pH value almost unchanged even if there is an addition of acid or alkali to it that is it has the ability to maintain its pH value that is it has an ability to maintain its acidity in other words so the ocean water acidity was remaining like that for a longer time even though it was absorbing the huge amount of carbon dioxide emissions happened but the buffering capacity has also a limit right once it crosses its limit the pH value will decrease how the pH value will decrease when the ocean water is becoming more acidic the pH value will decrease and we can call it as ocean acidification or commonly OA is there any evidence for decreasing pH value yes if you are measuring post industrialization and pre industrialization acidity value of the water it has decreased from 8.2 to 8.1 that means there is 0.1 difference in the pH scale and we know that pH scale is a logarithmic scale and so 0.1 difference means almost 30 percentage increasing in the concentration of the hydronium ions hydronium ions is H 3O plus or H plus so this is the reason behind the acidity in a solution and increasing the hydronium ions indicate the acidity of the ocean has increased we know that below 7 it is alkaline many salts are dissolved in the ocean so the ocean is slightly alkaline and it is going towards the less alkaline range and how does this happen it is because of the carbon dioxide emissions and this carbon dioxide will get dissolved in the water carbon dioxide dissolved in the water to give bicarbonate sorry carbon dioxide dissolves in water gives carbonic acid and this carbonic acid again gives bicarbonate ions and hydronium ions and what is the effect of this bicarbonate ion English increasing concentration in ocean water because it will consume the carbonate ions so the hydronium ions combine with the carbonate ions and decreases its concentration so what is happening in ocean acidification in effect the concentration of the hydronium ions and the bicarbonate ions are increasing correspondingly the carbonate ion concentration is decreasing this is the effect of the ocean acidification in summary
Now let us see what are the effects of decreasing in concentration of the carbonate ions. Carbonate ions are essential for the shell formation of the marine organisms. So it means that the carbonate ions will be more less available for the organisms to produce their shells. And this means that more shells will dissolve in the carbon dioxide. So first effect is that for cell formation they won't get enough carbon dioxide. Second is that already formed shells will dissolve. So this happen in ocean water. There are two zones. There are two zones. This zone is saturated with the car carbonate ions. It means that no more dissolution of carbonate ions will happen in this water. That is, shelled organisms can exist in this layer because their shells won't get dissolved in this layer. But there is an unsaturated layer. In this unsaturated layer, the shelled organisms cannot survive because their shells will get dissolved in the water to form the carbon carbonate ions. When we are decreasing in carbonate ion concentration in the water, more and more shells will get dissolved and this saturation layer will decreases. See, now more water will become unsaturated. That is the depth of the unsaturated layer has increased. And this depth is called carbonate compensation depth or CCD. And this was the earlier CCD. And new CCD has come more to the ocean surface. See, second CCD. What does it mean? The organisms in this margin are in danger. Right? Their shells will get dissolved and they will die. Thus the marine organisms get killed. And another effect is that we know there is a phenomenon called upwelling in the ocean water. When the upwelled water has come, it will bring more unsaturated water to the coastal surface. So it means that here will be some organisms, shelled organisms. So these marine organisms also in danger. Their shell also will get dissolved. So when the depth of the water increases, the chances of unsaturated water coming to the upwelling zones is more. And there is another term related with this lysoclane. It is similar to the halocline and thermocline. The, this is the region where the rapid changes in any property happens. Here the changes is in the property of the solution. Right. In this layer, the solution will dramatically increase. Here up to this layer there was no dissolution of car carbonate ions and this this layer it suddenly changes that is dissolution rate increases at a higher rate and that layer is the lysocline and it can be denoted by the term CCD also and this is the effect of changing car carbonate ion concentration in the marine ecosystem. Now let us summarize the effect of ocean acidification. First change is that it will affect the carbon sink. Uh, carbon sink is affected in terms of the carbonate ions. More carbonate ions will get dissolved into the ocean water. That means the sediments which were in the ocean because of the shells of the marine organisms will get dissolved and this carbon will be released into the cycle. So it means more carbon will be available in the cycle now and it acts as a positive feedback to the global warming right so this effect is <coughs> further accelerate the climate change also the buffering capacity of the ocean water is decreasing that means that lesser carbon dioxide will get dissolved in the ocean water so carbon dioxide getting dissolved in the ocean water will also reduce both will contribute to the changes in the biogeochemical cycle that is carbon cycle will get affected. 
So second we saw that it will destruct the coral ecosystem because of the upwelling of the unsaturated water in the coastal regions, the coastal organisms will die. And this same reason will cause extinction of marine organisms because they won't get enough carbonate to build their shells. And sometimes because of the change in the saturation depth, already existing shell will also get dissolved and the organisms will die. So we can see it as a reason for coral bleaching. This is the massive death of the corals can cause due to the changes in the ocean acidity, acidification, acidity level. Uh, will cause coral bleaching also. Another effect is that it may affect the growth of phytoplankton. Phytoplankton need carbon dioxide, right? So when more carbon dioxide is dissolved in water, the growth of phytoplankton will be increased. And it may affect the growth of some other organisms that will release sulfur compounds to the atmosphere. So, the sulfur compounds may uh, releasing to the atmosphere may get decreased. Some studies show that the sulfur compounds emission to the atmosphere is decreasing and it affects the cloud seeding. What is cloud seeding? Cloud seeding is the provision of the condensation nuclei for the formation of the clouds. We have discussed before what is the role of the condensation nuclei and this sulfur particles are aerosols and they provide, provide nucleus for the condensation of water vapor and helps in the formation of clouds. When sulfur compounds are emitting less to the atmosphere, cloud seeding will be affected and the rainfall will decrease. So, some studies shows like that and this rainfall decrease can further actuate the global warming. For engineering services, general studies video lectures, visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com For mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion, visit www.gedmap.com